Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about empaths and what it is to be empathic, what it is to be sympathic. And it's interesting the words to me, the empath to me it's like on path and a sympath it's like off path. Yeah, in, in Spain and in many places sin means without. So if you're looking for certain food, if you want food without gluten it will say sin gluten because it's without gluten. Yeah? So for me, it's, you're without path. You're not on path if you're a sympath. Now, what's a sympath? This is someone who's trying to mimic a feeling that they're foreign to. And a lot of people really don't like this. So if you're feeling really discomforted and someone comes along and tries to give you sympathy yeah, and you feel uncomfortable, you don't want their sympathy, but you do want their empathy. So what is the difference between empathy and sympathy? Yeah? And this is whether you've actually really felt it and whether you truly feel it genuinely within. Yeah? Doesn't mean you have to have had the same experiences, but you feel that person. Yeah? You're able to exchange with them and actually feel what they're feeling without it hurting you. Like I said, there's different levels of empaths. So I'll get onto that slightly later in the video, but there's different levels, but you don't want to let it feel you. Uh, you want to be able to help someone and reach out to them and comfort them and bring them into the best possible light that they can. But what you don't want to do is mimic them and, and bring them down. So for an example, if someone's feeling really down, you'll notice their body language is down, their head is down, and they're having a tough time. Yeah? Now if you come over to them and you put your head down and you mimic them and you put your, and you're like, oh, it's okay, oh, life, life's hard, yeah, we know this, and you do this, they don't like it because they want the opposite energy. They actually want to see someone that's energized and can relate to them and still give them the same advice but from a different perspective and a different place and changing your body state is a massive part of that. So if you've got someone that's suffering, yeah, don't mimic their body language. Stand tall, stand strong, keep your chest up. Yeah? Then put your hand on their shoulder and tell them it's going to be alright. Yeah? Tell them, give them any advice that you can to comfort them. But don't mimic their body language and don't agree with things that you don't truly believe within your heart to make them feel better. If you don't truly believe in your heart that this is the right thing and you're just saying something because you think it will make them feel better, yeah, this is not the way to go. It's about being uh, really in tune with yourself, really uh, opening your own heart and your own thoughts and just connecting with that person. But like I said, from a good place, and keeping your posture good helps keep your energies aligned, helps keep yourself vibrant also helps keep your self-defense up from taking aboard the pain that they're suffering because you don't want to take aboard all that pain. Now a lot of people find themselves super sensitive yeah? and they, 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 they consider themselves extreme empaths and so, uh, they feel so much and they can feel others' pain but they let that pain and it is let, they let that pain in and it affects them and they can't go into certain places because of other people and how other people feel, other people's energies stick to them like glue and it's horrible and then they're knocked for days even from going and visiting someone or going into a hospital or going somewhere where there's a lot of sick people it really drains them and it pulls them down and it makes them sick now this doesn't have to be this way so if this is you, I'm not having a go at you I'm telling you that this doesn't have to happen now I can say this from experience as someone that is very sensitive yeah. But I can now go to people, go near people that are very, very sick, very, very depressed yeah, and not feel it myself. I can try and help them and if I can't help them, I don't beat myself up. I know whether I've tried my best, I know whether I've done what's true to me and from my heart and that is all I can do. And I pat myself on the back no matter what their result is. It's not up to me how they feel, it's up to me how I feel and taking control of that and having that independence that your own feelings, your happiness, your joy yeah, is in your control. It's not up to someone else. Yeah, this is an ultimate form of slavery if someone else can control your feelings. Yeah, this is one thing to be controlled externally, but if someone can get in and control your mind, this is painful and this is horrible. And this is something we, we can all learn to master, make it more constructive and harmonious. Like I said, body, body posture is so important to this. Your central nervous system and making sure your spine's aligned, making sure your muscles are loose. No, and getting your body healthy, making sure your intestinal tract is cleansed. It, no matter if you've had lots of toxins and lots of toxic life, yeah, the liver in Chinese medicine is they say where it holds all your emotions, but it holds your uh, all your processes and filters all your chemicals. Now chemicals can be change your emotions. Yeah, if I was to give you certain chemicals, they yeah, would give you loads of alcohol. You can have a totally different emotional experience because it's chemical. 
Now your liver deals with chemicals, so if you're going to have really bad emotions and real bad depression, you might want to look into your liver and how can you help your liver? How can you cleanse your liver? Check out my video on um, salt flushes. This really helps to clean your digestive tract. Gallbladder cleanse to help cleanse there. And I'm going to show some more videos on actually how, what you can eat and do for your liver. But a lot of juices, carrot juice and apple juice, certain juices really help the liver. Yeah, making and less toxins, less toxins in your environment, the products you put on your skin. What do you wash your hair with? What do you wash your face with? How often do you wash? Some people that are really stressed in a real bad place get refreshed from a shower and take two or three showers a day, yeah, but they're constantly putting on chemicals when they do so. Yeah, so it's, it's okay to wash, but I don't think you should wash too frequently because you have a lot of natural oils, you have a lot, a lot of stuff, bacteria and things on your skin, in your hair, all over your body that need to be in harmony. So if you're doing like lots and lots of washes and you're using harsh soaps and shampoos and everything else, you're gonna rid yourself of this harmony on, on yourself and your, your skin is your biggest organ. Yeah? It's an organ. It takes in things and it lets things out. It has a process. It's not just a wrapping around your body. It actually does stuff. You may have noticed if you get spots, yeah? this is like toxins. It's able to take toxins out of your body and release them through your skin. It's also a good sign that your liver's in trouble your kidneys and your gut and all your insides basically aren't in a good place if you're getting things if you can hear there's some bells going off i think that means i don't know seven o'clock nine o'clock maybe it's later than i think i'm not not sure how often them bells go off but it seems to be quite regular um so yeah i hope this gives you some some insight into empathy and sympathy and you want to be empathic that's also a good quality and i said you have different levels of empaths yeah and that you can be an empath like i said at the lowest level and this is no offense to anyone i'm not criticizing you it's just analyzing yourself and seeing where you are but also knowing where you can go but at the lowest level this is where you're able to just absorb other people yeah and feel it and it knocks you back this means you're a low empath you want to get to a high empathic state where you can feel and see problems but you can fix them and not beat yourself up and sometimes you can't fix them but you still don't beat yourself up you can see suffering and not let it get to you yeah and this is possible for everyone there is no one this is not po possible through training but maybe they need to get their physical body much more healthy much more aligned yeah? maybe they need to get their internal body much more physically healthy or maybe it's their mental attitude and their mind needs a good cleansing and for most it's concentrating on all three yeah so getting your body in tune getting your mind in tune and getting your whole physical body, everything can change you. What you eat, what you think, what you feel, all of these things. Apologies for that cut. My camera overheats and sometimes just cuts off. But yeah, getting everything in, in, in tune and getting your body thriving. Not just surviving, but thriving. And now in this day and age with technology available, with the internet, with videos, with YouTube, you're here watching this. There's so much information out there. There's so much information on my channel. So go check all my other videos and then like you can go online and just search and research and spend some time that's good for you to know more to be able to develop you hear like knowledge is power but how do you use that knowledge as wisdom so become wise and start to use that knowledge that you're acquiring there's so much out there that you can be learning and growing from and developing yourself in every possible way and yeah, making life much more harmonious no matter the external environment no matter what's going on in your life You'll be stronger, more efficient, more productive, and able to take on life full-heartedly. Yeah, so I hope this gives you some insight. Hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment. Let me know if you've got any questions or uh, something more you want me to talk on. Drop a comment. Love to hear from you. And I will see you in the next video. If you want to know more about me, check out lukegreenheart.com and you can just see my mission and see, like, hear a lot more about me and see ways of contributing to my channel so I can up my videos, up the quality. And you can even purchase now some clothing. If you want some Greenheart clothing, check them out. All right, have a great day wherever you are, whoever you are. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.